When I heard a nine-year-old was given an Uzi, I thought it was absolutely absurd. And for those yelling at the screen that it's her Second Amendment right, her constitutional right to fire this weapon, I tell you that our forefathers are crying tonight. There is no way that they thought the Second Amendment would apply to nine-year-olds and Uzis. And, Mark, let me, let me just sort of re review my history a little bit. The Second Amendment didn't really even imply private gun ownership until the 1960s when there were some, uh, some legal cases. Is that right? Don't tell me. Tell them. All There's right. people out there who erroneously think that that yeah. means a nine-year-old, a child, can have a deadly weapon like this and use it under these circumstances. I don't agree with it. Vanessa, how about the parenting aspect of this? Isn't that disturbing to us all? It's disturbing, and my first thought, honestly, was what were those parents thinking? Why was this even on their radar? Like, why would you want your nine-year-old holding any gun, let alone an Uzi? But then you get, you you read the, the gun range's website, and you see that you could be as young as eight and still go to this gun range and shoot anything you want. And it's just, because it's your right, doesn't make it right. And some things just don't need to happen. And I feel so horribly bad for this man's family, but also for this nine-year-old girl. Like, I can't understand what mental things she may have to go through knowing that she took a life at nine yeah. years old. Yeah. Well, we will get into that with the behavior bureau, but Sam, you wanted to say something here? No, it's, there's, okay, yes, this is absolutely abhorrent. I can't imagine why these parents would allow it, nor this gun range and this instructor to allow a kid to fire an Uzi. But I did want to respond to Vanessa, because there's a huge difference between firing an automatic weapon and a semi-automatic weapon. I grew up shooting guns. My dad is a is a former Marine and Vietnam vet, and he would never allow me to shoot an automatic weapon because of the very fact when you shoot a semi-automatic, at least it's one shot at a time. Each time you have to pull the trigger. When you shoot, as Mark just said, an automatic weapon, that recoiling, if that freaks you out, and it will, a nine-year-old girl, and you jerk, there goes off 10 rounds within two seconds, and then at that point, anyone is your target. Now, Shame on this instructor. The oh, the instructor. Yeah. Yes. We're holding and the, the parents. Oh, and Leanne, the parents. Leanne, help me you settle this. I know you're sort of an uh, enthusiast. Go ahead. Well, yes, my, my husband and I are gun owners, and I grew up in a family in Virginia, and I think it was part of our culture. Hunters, um, people shoot for sport, people shoot clays, they shoot uh, skeet. And That's people go different than an automatic food. weapon. Right, but I'm, but I'm going to tell you, Dr. Drew, I Big had a gun difference. in my hands when I was six and seven years old. I learned from my father how to shoot at the turkey shoot, and I, sh I learned how to shoot a gun at a young age. I was he was he taught me the responsibility of a gun. Not he, an Uzi. No, not an Uzi. Of course not. That's and a difference. That's the thing that I'm going to say is that, yes, an Uzi should not have been used for a nine-year-old as a first gun. But I have no problem with the parents taking a nine-year-old to the gun range. They did everything correct. Both parents were there. They had an instructor. I think he should have been you know, behind the line. He was standing in the wrong place. But he didn't teach the girl to take her finger off the trigger. You can clearly see that in the video, which that upsets me. But we have a 22 long rifle waiting for our son when he's old enough to understand what he needs to old. shoot a gun. I don't know. Maybe when he's seven, eight years old, we'll shoot. We'll teach him how to shoot a gun and Mark, learn how to clean it and be responsible. Me. Listen, there is a difference between an Uzi right. and another weapon, and maybe that's okay for those parents. I don't let my kids cut an apple alone. But let me just also say, there's a reason why no matter how mature a child is, the law doesn't allow them to get behind the wheel, even if there's somebody there next to them, even if they have training, because it's inherently dangerous. I feel but the same way about an Uzi.